Taste the dressing. My mom makes it with bacon bits. <laughs> Dude, stop. You're making me hungry. Yep. This Thanksgiving's gonna be right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <I'm> right. <laughs> It's not as bad as it looks. Oh, oh. oh dude, this is bad. <coughs> oh, I think maybe you're right. I can't see anything. I think this is what happens when you don't put any oil in. Man, I'm sunk. My dad bought me this car. I spent eight hundred dollars on it. Oh, dude. <coughs> what are we gonna do? Right here in the middle of the bonies. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to walk on ahead. And as soon as we reach the closest town, we'll have to get a wrecker to come out and tow it someplace. Killer.
word. someone in Redbud to fix it. Oh, and I know just who that be. I'm from Redbud. I lived there all my life. His name's Josephus. He works on my car all the time. Good mechanic. Huh. Is he expensive? Because, like, I don't have a lot of money. Ah, uh, he's reasonable. But with something like what happened to you, come on. Heck, we're getting the big bucks. Oh, I want just big bucks. Oh, I don't know. If what I said is what's wrong with you, Carl, Probably in the hundreds. Oh, no way. Well, he'll be able to tell you better than me. Then there's going to be the cost of the tow truck to haul it back oh, into town. Oh, look, like, uh, look, I only got like $120. Do you think you can fix it for that? I don't think so. Well, this is it. This is my hometown, Redbud. Home of the fighting farmers. Oh, where are you? 
<laughs> what? Oh. Hi, Bo. Uh, this here's Fred and... Lowry. Lowry. They have some car trouble back a ways. So? So, they were wondering if you could take a look at the car. Where is it? Well, it's a few miles back up that road. We'll need a tow truck. I ain't but... got one. Well, could you at least tell them what's wrong with it? Well, now, what's wrong with it? Well, it just died. Yeah, there was this, this rattling noise, and then boom! All this smoke started coming out from under the hood. Yeah, mega smoke. Almost choked. I don't even have to look at it. You blew a pistol. I was right. Well, what's it? Can you fix it? Hell, son, I can fix anything. For a price. Oh, well, how much would you charge? A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Bro, I don't got that much. Well, good luck to you. Oh. Whoa. Well, I told them you could give them a break. You know. Settle for 400, but not a penny less. You hear me? Well, uh, no, well, I don't take plastic. Well, I've only got like I've only got 120 dollars. Like, how much you got? 80. Well, we've got 200. Money talks. Bullshit walks. Hey, maybe he can call your dad, and he can send you some money. Oh, no way. Can't call my dad. He'll kill me if he finds out what I did to the car. Yo, what about your folks? Sorry, dude. My parents don't have enough money to send me to school. I mean, I'm getting by on grants and scholarships and working my way through. Hey, maybe we can... That will work. Listen, guys, I, I hate to run, but... I'm gonna be late for work. Oh, well, don't let us keep you. Yeah, don't worry about us. We'll handle it. Well, I hate leaving you in such a predicament. Hey, we've been in some pretty bogus situations before. We can take care of ourselves. Ain't that right, dude? You know it. Well, uh, there's plenty of motels down the street that way, and, and there's plenty of places to eat. Hey, we'll be okay. Well, good luck, Dan. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know about you, dude, but I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could eat a horse. Be careful what you say around here. From looking at this town, they beat us a horse. Well, I guess we really need 250. More like, at least. More like 300. Well, where are we going to get for $100? I don't know. Pardon me. Did I hear you boys say you needed $300? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Well, it just so happened I have a job that pays $300. And it only takes a couple of hours to do. Are you interested? Oh, you bet. What kind of a job? 
All you gotta do is deliver a box up to Springville. Oh, Springville? Yeah, you know, just a piece up the road. All you have to do is deliver to this address. Give it to a man named Clegg. He'll give you an envelope, one of those big brown kind. Just bring that back to me. That's simple. I'll give you 150 up front, and the other 150 when you get back. Sound fair? This sounds cool and everything. But all the thing is, we don't have any wheels. No. Or cars. No problem. I'll make sure you have a car. Well, I still don't know. Sounds a little bogus to me, but... Well, could you, like, excuse us for a moment? Sure. You boys talk it over. Whoa, what do you think, dude? Sounds cool, doesn't it? I don't know. It sounds a little bogus to me. Oh, well, yeah. But we'll be able to get my car fixed. You know, and since this delivery guy won't take very long, we'll be able to start fixing it today. I just don't get good vibes about it, you know? I'll tell you what, boys. Seeing as you're in need of money right now, I'm willing to throw in an extra hundred. That's two hundred for each of you. What do you say? Is it a deal? Four hundred dollars, dude. We need just money to eat on. And I'm talking real food. And I tell you, boys, that's four hundred dollars cash. Cash. Which means that if you don't report it to Uncle Sam, I won't. And you get my meaning, don't you? But that wouldn't be honest, you know? Son, let me tell you about honest. Our government sent me and a bunch of my buddies a few years back over to a place called Lo Chin. And we figured out pretty soon after we were there that they was having us kill and be killed to what essentially amounted to bullshit. I lost a lot of good buddies over there. And they let us win? Hell no. I'll tell you, it was just a mess. We were so scared and confused, we didn't know what the hell was going on. And to top it all off, they sent the parents and wives and fiancés letters telling them how brave their sons were and how they died in the line of duty. That was a load of crap, I'll tell you. Well, anyway, the gist of it is if anybody owes anybody, our government owes us. It owes all them folks that lost sons and husbands and fathers and fiancés for nothing. It owes all us who went over there and lost our youth and our good careers for crap. And do you think they'll pay? Hell no, they expect us to pay them. Now I ask you, does that sound honest to you? Oh yeah, I guess since you put it that way. Why sure. I still don't know. Well. I guess I'll just have to let Jimbo do the job. Thanks anyway, boys. Well, dude, this is our only chance. Yeah. I guess the sooner we get out of this town, the better, huh? <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, uh, mister, that's a... Friends, folks here call me Big Bad Bob, but you can call me Bob. Is it a deal, then? Yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. And as agreed, here's half now, and I'll give you the other 200 when you get back with the envelope, okay? Well, good. Sure thing. All right, now, you don't have to worry about anything. She's all gassed up and checked out. Just take it easy and obey the speed limit. You're, nobody's rushing you, okay? Okay. All right. All right, then. I'll see you boys when you get back with the envelope. Okay. See you later. Well, thanks. Well, I'm that for a walk, huh? I'm oh, cold. Look, yeah, dude. Oh, chill. What could possibly go wrong? Y'all wouldn't have to be going to Springville, would you? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, we are. Y'all wouldn't mind if I tag along? 
Well, I don't know. We'd be good. good. You mind? Uh, the, the front seat. I always ride in the front seat. Well, just gonna sit here all day. Step on it, son. Let's get this car out of the bag. I live and work here in Red Bud. But I'm off today. How about you boys? You got any names? I'm Lowry. What? I'm Fred. I don't recollect seeing y'all before in Red Bud. Y'all live here? Uh, no. We've never seen Red Bud before today. Oh, that's a shame. We take a lot of pride in our town. We have a lot of big businesses, mind you, and we are pretty small, but that's the way we like it. More sociable, don't you know? Uh, yeah, I, I guess that is better. Well, not that we don't take a liking to strangers, no sweet vibe, but we're probably the most openest folks this side of Mason-Dixon line. It sure do look like Ernie Belcher's car. So where are you boys from? Well, oh, I'm from Dallas. I'm originally from Houston, but my parents live in Fort Worth. So what are you boys doing way down here, on your way to Springville for? Oh, uh, well, we're sort of like on an errand. But we're eventually going to wind up in Dallas. Yeah, we're students at the university. We're just going home for Thanksgiving. Oh, I get it. Earn a little spin of cash on the side. Let's have a couple of hot dates up in Dallas, huh? Oh, I wish. This sure does look like Ernie Belcher's car. What, what do you call these damn things? What is this, uh... Uh... What the hell is this? Mustang. That's what these damn things are called. Made by Ford? This... And it just got one just like this. Just like it. So what you boys doing way down here in Springville? What are you going to do about your car? Oh, I'll get a ride home from the game tonight. Uh, then I'll have old Bert come out tomorrow. Old Bert's a friend of mine got his own record service. I'll just have him come out tomorrow and get my truck and then, uh, well, he owes me a favor anyway. You want to know something? This show do look like Ernie Belcher's car. Say, you know, you got a crack in your dash just like Ernie's got. Wait a minute. This is Ernie Belcher's car. Say, what the hell's going on here? All right, you boys, pull it over. All right. No tricks. Until I find out who you are and what you're up to, you do exactly as I say. This goes for you, too. Yes, sir, sir. So pull it over. Okay. Ow! Ow! Over here. All right, up against the car. Hands on top of your head and spread them. Don't try anything. Who are you boys? What are you up to? Well, my name's Fred Landers, sir. I can explain everything. Well, I know you will, son. I know you will. Who's your friend here? I'm Lowry. Lowry Holmes. So how'd you boys end up with Ernie Belcher's car? I know he ain't having letting other people drive it, and I know he don't have no sons. So how'd you end up with it? You stole it, didn't you? No! That's not what happened. You see, my car broke down. So you thought you just bought Ernie's car, is that right? No, no, that's not what happened. Uh, sure. So there's this guy, his name's Big Bad Bob, and he's... Uh-huh, oh, you a couple of Bob Everett's boys. <laughs> I might have known. No, we're not Big Bad Bob's boys. And don't play ignorant with me, son. I know you're working for Bob Everett. No, we're not working for Big Bad Bob. You denied? Deny what? Working for Bob Everett. Well, yes. Uh, All right, boys. No, not really. You see, it's just that... Back around. All right, well, boys. Where'd you put it? 
Put what? The goods, son. Where are they? Well, there's a package in the... Uh, so this, this is the trunk, but honestly, we, we don't know what's in it. Uh -huh. I swear. Do we, Lowry? No. Quiet. You, open it up. Slowly. Just open it up and back away. Well, that's it. That's the package. All right, hands on top of your head. I swear, we just... Put your hands on your head. You, over there. Right. Open it up. Come on, son, I ain't got all day. Boys have the right to remain silent. Mm -hmm. He has the right to an attorney. Well, come on, dude. We shouldn't have gone along with that bizarro scheme. Well, yeah. But how was we were supposed to get my car fixed? I mean, how was I supposed to know this car was stolen? You know, I thought it was Big Bad Bob's car. I just had this feeling. I, I just knew that... <sighs> okay. Look, what we got to do is come up with an idea of how to get out of this mess. Well, we can't go back and get your car now. It's just going to have to stay. But I got to, dude. I mean, my dad will kill me if I leave it there. And besides, we can't leave it. There's all kinds of stuff inside saying who I am. And they'll know we're students at the university. Oh, dude, this is heavy. I mean, if we try and go back and get your car, you know that sheriff's going to be waiting for us. Oh, I know. Whoa, I just thought of something. What? Well, we can't keep sitting in here with this car. We got to just get rid of it or get out of here. Oh, you're right. Now pull over somewhere, hide it, anywhere. Well, I mean, if we keep driving it, the sheriff's bound to radio ahead and set up a roadblock or something. Oh, man, you're right. Then if we keep going, I mean, they'll find us. I'm scared, dude. I don't know what we should do. I know. It's a pretty bogus situation, huh? Oh, to say the least. Well, we know we can't go back to Redneck. You mean red bud? No, I mean red neck. And that's what this whole county has been. Nothing but rednecks. Ha, <laughs> I guess you're right. So that name does fit them pretty good. Although I did, I did like that Luann chick. Well, if we go back to Springville, you know that there'll probably be cops waiting for us. <laughs> or worse. What do you mean? Well, who do you think's gonna be angry when we don't show up with the package? Oh. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Big Bad Bob. <laughs> and not just him. That Clegg guy who's waiting for us in Springville. Oh, dude, how are we gonna get out of this? <sighs> we can't go ahead and we can't go back. <sighs> dude, this is mind boggling. You know, I don't even remember Zippy the Pinhead getting into a situation like this. There's only one thing we can do for now. What? Fuck.
anywhere any town other than Springville or Red Bud. <laughs> you mean Redneck? Oh yeah, I mean Redneck. <laughs> you know, when I was in the Scouts, you were in the Scouts? Well, actually the Wee Bros, we hunt like this, we'd sing songs. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. So how about it, dude? Do you know any songs? I can't think of any right now. Oh. Oh, oh, I got one. Do you remember this? If I ever get out of here, we're going we'll to give it all away to register charity. All we need is a fine to pay if I ever get out of here. If we ever get out of here, we'll end on the run. End on the run. If we ever get out of here. accidentally stumbled into it. Well, that was the general idea. <laughs> hey, can you point that somewhere yourself? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, man. This isn't funny anymore. Oh, got me a good catch this time. I got me, got me some white meat. Man, I got me some dark meat. <laughs> I'm going to be eating good for a few weeks. I'm going to be eating real good. Yep, hadn't had any human meat in a long time. <laughs> a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's pretty good eating too. Sweet, you know, kind of like uh, pork. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's, that's kind of what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, and the liver too. Oh, oh I can. It's just superb. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd be willing to say that human flesh is just about the finest tasting meat day is. Yeah. Say, you're putting this on, right? I mean, this is a joke, right? <laughs> I think this guy's for real, dude. I know. Let's see. What can I make out of you two? I can make steaks, and I can make hamburger, and I can make chili, and stew, and finger foods. <laughs> um, oh, but the bacon. Humans make the finest bacon. <laughs> Listen, dude, 
If you let us go, I know where it can get better meat than us. A lot more of it. <laughs> His name's Big Bad Bob. Boy, boy, is he big. You could eat off of him for a whole month. I'm here <laughs> nice try, dude. I thought so. Not a bad idea. You know? Yeah, kind of like a two, two birds with one stone. See how it's done. Yeah, I'll start right here. Uh, what? Wait a sec. Wait a second. What's the problem? Well, you're not just gonna split our throats, are you? <laughs> well, that was the general idea, son. Uh, you don't want me to cook you alive, do you? I mean, well, now you know that wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> cook you alive, you Oh, I got a better idea. Oh, yeah, what? Huh. Well, can't you just, like, let us go? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like trapping and, and hunting, don't you? It's my life. Why, well, look around you. This is all mine. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna evict me from here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, you know, if you let us go, I'd be like hot and seek. I mean, like, you can try to hunt us down. I wouldn't know who to what. <laughs> yeah, it, you could, like, try to hunt us down. It, it'd be like that story. What's the name of that story, dude? Oh, uh, what story? Well, you know the one we read in class about the guy who likes to hunt? He likes to hunt people like they were animals. Oh, oh the most dangerous Yeah, game. yeah, the, the most dangerous game. Hmm, I... <laughs> wait, 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 Well, yeah, yeah, you see there's this crazy guy? No, I mean there's this guy. And, and he he's tired of hunting a regular game, you know, because they don't fight back or they don't think or anything. He says, so, so he decides he wants to hunt humans instead. He thought it'd be a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I see it. That would be more fun, you know, I... <laughs> yeah, uh, you could, like, we'd try to hide. You know, like I said, it'd, like, be hot and seek. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, I just... But don't sing. The what? Don't sing. That's how I found you two. Oh, yeah. No, we won't sing this time, no. Huh. And you? Oh, we won't sing. You can count on that. Okay. But we play by my rules. Okay? Yeah. yeah okay. Anything okay. you say. Okay, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave your hands tied for now. I just... Well? What are you waiting for? I thought you were going to tell us the rules. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'll make up the rules as I go along. Uh, see, uh, oh, I'm going to send you two on ahead to give you a head start, but uh, make it quick. I, you know, I'd kind of like to eat before it gets dark. <laughs> yeah? Okay, okay. Let's go. Uh, uh. Alright, let's go. Uh. Let's go, no, let's go. Telling how many traps are around here. Yeah. Well, here, let's get our hands loose. All right. Oh, we're gonna have to move slow to get around all these booby traps. Yeah, but we can't move too slow or he'll catch up with us. Yeah, I know. Oh, psychopath. <laughs> no, I know what it feels like to be a turkey. A turkey? Oh, yeah, Thanksgiving. It's only two days away. Oh, yeah. Come on. Thank you.
See what you mean. So, uh, where to now? So we go that way. going anywhere that takes us a million miles from that bad man man I knew I should have stayed in bed this morning look how far do you think we've come about three miles it feels like ten <laughs> I heard that dude don't move what I said don't move. Why? What? Your ass is in a sling, quite literally. <gasps> this is not cool. To say the least. Well, don't just stand there. Help me up, dude. All right, all right. On three. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Get back to the road. Well, the risk getting picked up by that sheriff than deal with these booby traps. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't relish the thought of getting ending up in a pot of chili, you know? Come on, I think the road's that way.
Dude, we made it. Hell yeah. Let's see. Red boat should be that way. They spring will that way. Which do you want to risk? Let's get back to Red Bud. Nobody knows us in Springville. That clean guy's never seen us. Yeah, but my car's in Red Bud. Well, maybe. Hey, I don't recognize that car. Neither do I. Well, maybe they'll give us a lift. Yeah. Excuse us, sir. Oh, we were just wondering if you could like, give us a lift into town. You know, my car started, stopped running and it's broken. And we we're just wondering if we need a ride. Well, I don't see no car. Well, we walked quite a ways. Uh, just what is wrong with your car? Maybe I can fix it. Well, it started rattling and then and smoke just started pouring out of the engine. Yeah, we were told we blew a piston. You know, it may not be that serious. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's down this road. On the other side of Redneck. I'm in Red Bud. Well, why don't you just hop on in, boys? We'll just go down yonder and take a gander. It just so happens I fixed many a car in my time. Oh. Oh, he wouldn't believe what we've been through today. Pretty rough, huh? Huh. That's a major understatement. Well, I got a feeling you boys' luck has just changed. See, my name is Clem. Clem and T. Boss. And uh, I fixed many boats and cars and foundation problems and relationships. Oh, the list goes on. And people say I'm pretty reasonable, too. Uh, you boys do have some money, don't you? Well, why do you want to know? My service, boy. Surely you didn't think I was going to fix your car for nothing, now, did you? Well, no. All right. So how much were you boys prepared to pay to get your car fixed up? Oh, well, I've got about, uh... Two hundred? Is that all? Two hundred? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess I could fix it for two hundred dollars. You know, I usually charge a whole lot more than that. But, being as your boys is desperate and that's all the money you got, and being as this is a holy days, I guess I could fix it for two hundred dollars. Don't you think you should look at the car first? How long you been fixing cars, boy? Well, I haven't. Well, all right then. hearts. We ask that you help us in this, our time of need, as only you can. Come, boys. Pray with me. Oh, 
like it says in the good book, wherever two or more is gathered. Help us to restore this here car to its proper working order. And they all say the amen. Boys, we must do this here thing properly. You've got to close your eyes and believe. The Johans in the car. I now address myself to the evil spirits which have took over this here car. You must believe, boys. You must believe. Close your eyes. I address myself to the evil spirits which have took over this here car. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I say to you, come out! to fix her car. You mean Bob Everett? Yeah, so we were told. <laughs> what, you know him? I know of him. You boys got mixed up with him? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so funny. <laughs> well, Luan, just who is this guy anyway? Yeah. Oh, it's just something the law's been after a long time. A drug dealer. Supplies all the local towns. See, everybody knows it's him, but nobody knows where the lab is. And every time they try to bust him, he gets away. Because they can't catch him in the act to find any evidence on him. Well, how do you know so much about him? <laughs> Shoot, everybody knows about old Bob. But never mind him. Tell me what happened. He overheard us talking. They told us how we could make some money. <laughs> Oh, no. Anyway, he said that if we delivered his package in Springville, that he'd give us the money to get our car fixed. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so Bob got us his car, only we didn't know it was stolen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what, why don't you hop in, and you can tell me the rest on the way back to town. I don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> what do you mean? There's a sheriff in Redwood. If he saw us, he just... <sighs> Wait a minute, what's his name? L. Wood. No. Elroy Adams? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's my uncle. Uh, he is a real sweetheart. Uh, wait a minute. Why are y'all afraid of him? Well, it's a long story. I wish you'd never let us finish. Oh, and this ought to be good. 
Okay, shoot. Well, if all this is true, there's only one thing to do. What's that? Go back to town and get everything squared away. Are you sure that's such a good idea? <laughs> shoot, yeah. You aren't gonna do any good just standing around here, are you? Come on, dude. We might as well. You get in. Are you sure you can work everything it's out with the sheriff? It's a hit town. I know everybody. Trust me. And that's everything. And we still don't have my car fixed. Or the money to get it fixed. Now do you understand? It's like I owe you boys an apology. I'll tell you what. If you boys do something for me, I'll see you too. You get your car fixed and in time to be home for Thanksgiving dinner. How's that sound? Yeah. Great. But we still don't have any money. I'll take care of that. All right. You scratch my back if I scratch yours? Okay. Look, what do you want us to do? It'll be real simple. Well, it was kind of weird at first, but now I think I'm going to miss it. 
Well, you boys are welcome back here anytime. Oh, car's ready. I guess that's it then. We leave right now, dude. We should get to Dallas just in time to start slicing some of that turkey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't worry. We'll be back through here on our way to school. Come back. Y'all do that. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> well, they were really cool, weren't they? For a bunch of rednecks? Yeah, they were. What was that? Well, I don't know. You know, I think I'm going to marry that. Luann? Yeah! <laughs> you, married to a redneck. That'll be the day. <laughs> Thank you.